Hey everybody, welcome back to Park Attack Timber Creek Scenario. Last episode, we made an amazing monorail coaster. Uh, we're charging $4. Yeah, that's... The <laughs> we're going to be charging a lot more than $4. Hold on, let me do a quick calculation on my handy-dandy calculator. 90 times 0.15 is $13.50. You know what? Because we are kind and we like to give our guests a deal, instead of charging $13.50, we're just going to charge $13. They can keep the extra 50 cents. Okay. <laughs> so this coaster should definitely get us, or it'll easily get us to 300 guests in this park. Maybe 400 close to it. Fingers crossed, because at 400, we do get a another land upgrade. And then we just have 600. And then we win. Wait, how much time do I have left in this scenario? Where can I get some? All right, we still need a drink shop. Um, that's not it. Where is it? October year two. We're in May of year one. Yeah, well, no, we still got plenty of time. So we're going to pass this thing up and then uh, continue. That is disgusting. Let's see. I'm probably going to spend this episode placing flat rise because sure, I could start another coaster and cram it through all this garbage, but it might not end up being that decent of a coaster. That's the problem. Um, getting the coaster to be exciting, especially because we've already used the two types of coasters that do get exciting. The mini coaster, not so much. So attempting to do that would probably be a waste of money and space. So I'd much rather just get some intense um, flat rides because I'm pretty sure the last thing the guests wanted was more flat rides. So that is what I will do. I will give the guests what they want. Also, I'm trying to figure out the best way to do this queue line. Because it's going to be a popular ride. Okay, I cannot go that way. So I could go this way with it. I want a long one. Because I want their money. <laughs> I'd say that's pretty good. Alright, we do need... We should change the colors of it. I also need to change the colors of this queue line. Um, we are going to open the ride, though. And hit play to start to get people into this bar. Okay. Good. We're going to grab the colors on this thing. Splat it over this queue line. Ignore the trees in the middle of the rides and the paths. It's fine. You know, that just increases the scenery rating. So that's why I do it. All right. Now let's play the random color coaster game. Random coaster color game. Sure. Where I close my eyes. Pick a random color here. Ooh, purple. Close my eyes again. Pick a random color there. All right. So that's the first color. Then the next one. And then we just do the same. I'm not looking. I'm, I can see, like, with my peripheral vision, so I'm covering it now. Orange. Okay, it could be all right. Orange and purple work good together. Oh, it's brown. <laughs> I don't even know what color that changed. Ice cream price is decreasing. Hooray. I don't know what color that changed. All I see is the yellow and the purple on this thing. Unless it's... Maybe that stripe in the middle. I don't know. Let's change the last color. This is an important one, because as you can see, it changes the entirety of the thing. Not looking. Oh, God, that's disgusting. Oh, that's not that bad. Not that bad at all. Another fun game. Ooh, we got silver. That's actually pretty good. Purple and silver go nice together. Another thing we could have done is just um, put random letters and numbers in here. That's another way to play the random coaster color game. Okay, not that bad. I'm not going to bother changing the color of the cars. I'm too lazy. Let us now drink the colors of this. And because it's mostly... We'll just, we're just going to switch these two. I have no idea where that brown is on the ride. Maybe it's the lights. I thought the lights had their own thing, though. Yeah, this silver and purple. Silver and purple go real well together. I like it. Okay, it's raining. Are we selling umbrellas? Probably not. We only made $800 last month. It's not the greatest, but... Is that including the coaster that I built? <laughs> e no. No, it's not. Wait, where's my profit at? Overall, yeah, we've been losing money. So I think down here it doesn't... I have no idea. I guess we'll see after this month. Although it's raining, so we're probably not going to make nearly as much money as we should be able to. 
It is pretty great seeing all these people getting on this ride because each of those was thirteen dollars. Mm. That's the best. Okay. So while we wait for more stuff, what are we researching? Popcorn. I don't need popcorn. I need drinks. You fool. Let us get, um, I'm gonna go with the gyro drop tower. It's a good one. The guests will love it. And, uh, we actually don't have a crazy amount of money. So, yeah, I can't afford this thing right now if I wanted it, which I do want it. That's not great. I thought I had more money than that. Oh, no. I think I took out one loan. I didn't take out any loan. Look at that. Okay. You know what? People state $4,000, $40 a month. I can easily pay this off. I think we're going to take this one. Because with this coaster, that should be an easy thing to pay off. And then um, we're getting more people into the park right now because, you know, the rain stopped. So this should be interesting. Where do I want to put this thing? I want to put it somewhere where it's not going to take up too much room. That's what I was kind of thinking, like down here somewhere. Because if we unlock this section of park, we need to make the path come down this way anyway. I just have to watch out for the, the track. There is a lot of track. Put it right here. Who cares about the river? <laughs> the river is in the way of progress. That's not my fault, it's the river's fault. All right, we'll put the queue over there. The exit can go here, and then we will take the path and bring it up this way. We're gonna need benches and probably more food and drink places around here. Perfect. Yeah, the only food and drink we have is over here, and the further we get down this way, we're gonna need more. People gonna be like, where do I get the stuff? Hey, look at that, 300 guests in the park, and perfect. We unlocked another giant section. Good. I'm still waiting on that drink shop. I can't research anything until I get that. I refuse to, because we really need it. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna have to do something. I can get, I guess I can bring the path down this way. Get over to this section. Because this is kind of a dead end. We got our track here and here. So, getting up and over this would... And we have the... Yeah, getting around this would be more challenging than it's worth, so... I could do it, it would just be a mess. That is the wrong color. Or the wrong path. Technically the wrong color, too, because it's completely different. Okay, gyro drop tower. Oh, maybe, just maybe I should increase that a little bit. <laughs> That's a good number for this. 12? That was a good number. Do I have to test it? Probably. Okay. It's gonna go up. It's taking its time. Please go faster. Crash nearby. Ah! Nearby theme park. It wasn't my park, though. My park's safe. Hooray. So the values on that are now 27. I guess we're opening it. Let's see if people go on it. There they go. I feel like they'll go on it regardless, but I was wondering about the price. Which I don't need to change, because people are going on it. Oh, that guy turned around. Was it the price? Was the price too good? Or did you just run out of money for my coasters? Not a lot of people want to go on it, but a lot of people are just turning away. I say a lot of people want to go on it, it's two. But no one's saying anything like, oh, it's not intense enough, or it's too much money, so that's good. Okay, we're at 322 guests in the park. There's a lot of people around this area. Popcorn's now available. Well, thank God for that. We definitely needed popcorn. Um, <laughs> I'm going to get a food area down here. I feel like that's far enough away. Oh, but is it? Is it, though? I could put it over here. Although we could probably have a different one over here. Uh, what's my staff situation looking like? One janitor. We're going to hire another janitor. So I am seeing some puke around. One hauler, one mechanic, entertainers. Maybe we should hire an entertainer. There'll be a shark because this is a river. I'd usually never hire entertainers, but they can probably definitely help with, you know, cheering people up. Already level two. All it did was wave once in a crowded area and he's already level two. What a guy. 
Yeah, I feel like that might be a worthy investment. For $14 a month, I don't think it's that bad. We're making $1,103 a month, and that's with a crash, and I'm pretty sure it rained. So, yeah, we're doing it. Okay. So we're going to send the path back this way, because I think we might be able to thread this needle. Nope, I was wrong. So we're going to have to have a staircase go... Ah, <laughs> not good. It's too close to that. Okay, this is going to be more challenging than I had thought. Okay, we could definitely put it there, but look how high up that is. Is there an easier solution? Yes. Let's bring the path down this way. Which now makes me feel like putting the food place here would be a complete waste, because it's just... It's not in a busy area. Oh, the only thing that's down here is this gyro drop. If I can't have the path come out this way, then there's no point. Although, never mind. We can go right here. I'd rather do this than have it this way. Although, I probably can attach the path there. It'd be fine. The question is, now, can I even do this? I don't even know how I can do this. I don't think there's enough room for everything, because we're going to have two food shops, a staff path, the hall. Uh, there's no way. This will not work here. All right, so we're going this way. Damn. Not exactly what I wanted. Actually, not what I wanted at all. I think I want it... Yeah, I just don't like how far away it's going to be from... There's, like, nothing over here yet. So there's nothing to pull people over here. So this is just, like, going to be on the outskirts. A food place on the outskirts? It seems like a waste right now. Also, realize how I stopped changing the colors of the path. Oh, well. You know what? We'll do it anyway. We are making our way down here. Maybe people just waddle over here for the food. I don't know. I kind of want to keep it along the edge of the mountain. I don't know why I just do. Okay. Food, drink, bathroom. It's going to be a little strange, but eh, whatever. Depot. We are apparently losing guests. I don't like that. Also, I don't like the fact that there's a roller coaster here. Damn it. I could put this here. All right. We're going to bring this down this way. The only good thing about a really tiny park is it's really easy to find the supply. Nice. Okay. Um, how am I going to do this one? Let us... I don't know. Did I not think this through? I'm going to go with... No, I did not think this through. Alright, so that'll be the way down. Um, let us pause before anyone runs down there, because I can see them running down there. We're going to grab the do not enter sign. And the reason why I do this... To reiterate, instead of using staff paths, is because staff paths, paths negatively impact the decoration rating, as normal paths do not. So if I just say, hey, no entry for guests, we won't have the guests come down here and get annoyed that our haulers are hauling. Damn it, yeah, this isn't going to work. Unless I change, I'm going to change the path, which means I'm going to change the terrain. Which means I need this game to unpause, so I can delete this, so people don't walk on it. So what we need to do here... Oh, you freaking idiot. There we go. Then we can have our food places here. Perfect! I am going to lower that. And that. And that. And that. Nice. Okay. Good. Didn't cost me any money. Everything's fine. What am I going to put here, though? Because, oh my god, we still don't have a drink place. Cotton, cotton candy, cotton candy. I don't want cotton candy. I want drinks, actual sustenance. Oh dear God, it's gonna be ice cream again. That's all I got. All I got is ice cream. Oh, that's so disappointing. Ice cream and... I don't wanna put, it's like, they're giving me stuff that increases thirst by a lot, pretzels. Turkey legs all increase the thirst. Hot dogs increase thirst. 
Cookies don't. Hunger, happiness. Somehow popcorn doesn't increase there, so we're throwing that down. Don't ask me how, because popcorn would definitely increase thirst. Let's face it. It's just, it's popcorn. That's what it does. All right, we're going to add these two shops. We need a hauler. Hauler to haul. Hire a hauler. There you go, hauler. We're creating a brand new zone here. And this hauler is going to spend the rest of his life in zone two. Okay, I think we won. I'm going to get a toilet right here. All right, so we need to cover these two buildings. Apparently, I just did that with some random crap I found laying around the park. <laughs> some random walls. I'm fine with that. Look at this queue line. That is beautiful. You love to see it. You love to see people enjoying your amazing ride. See, I don't know if that's at the right height or not. I think it is. There, put that there, put that there. This guy can only walk between these two spots. And we're just waiting for the staff to get down here. Again, there's like nothing over here. So people aren't going to come this way. But when eventually there is stuff over here, this is going to be very popular. Because once we get like a ride, more rides over here, guests are going to be sprinting down this way. It's going to be the only the only spot to get down over here so of course it's gonna be super popular and it'll be a good time but until then it's gonna be kind of boring there's not much going on all right hopefully three garbage cans is enough now i just need to get the doorways right yes we're at 361 guests just kind of hoping for a little bit more yes this is going to take slightly longer than I want it to. The whole not getting a drink stand is definitely affecting things. And also, it's mainly affecting things because I can't research more coasters. Which means I can't get a really, you know, a coaster that holds a lot of people, that pulls a lot of people in. Um, because I'm too busy trying to research drink places. So it does affect how quickly it's going to take to complete the scenario. Because we add coasters, we get that number up really fast. We can't add coasters. The number does not go up nearly as fast. Duh. <laughs> what I could do in the meantime is build another exciting flat ride. Which I'm going to put right here to try to get people to come down here. We'll have the path go against it. And hopefully, yeah, I think that'll be fine. We'll put the entrance over here. The exit can go right there. And then this path is going to come in like this. Oh, it was red there. I thought it wasn't going to work. I was screaming. There we go. Queue line. We'll just go against the edge of the park. Beautiful. Rides open. $4. Do we have an ATM machine? No, we don't. Okay, that kind of sucks. But, what are you going to do? Hey, what's probably what we're going to get next, because we're definitely not going to get a drink place next, because the game hates me. No drink shops for you. Crying. That's all I need. All I need is a drink shop right now. Times three speed. Hey, look, more people. Money, please. How much money does this thing make me? Damn rain. Rain ruins everything. Oh, it's gonna be th Wait, which one is it going to be? Look at that. Okay, so it's $585 a month. That's it? Okay, that's kind of a bummer. That's kind of a bummer because it's such a great ride. It's just, it's so slow. Oh, it sucks. The low capacity is really screwing me right now. What about this thing? So this thing can't hit 628. 643. Spinning coaster. Oh, no, that's the monorail. It's a different monorail. What about the spinning coaster? 840s with the spinning coaster. Has hit. Okay. So the spinning coaster is the most profitable. Wait a second. Wait, 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 w
Also, I remember this being a thing where if I want two trains on this thing, the block section has to be as long as the train. So we get rid of these brakes and put block sections instead, and we might be able to get two trains, which means double the profit, which means money. So, uh, sorry everyone, the ride's closed. Because <laughs> block brakes act as trim brakes if there's no car. Trim speed if next block is clear. So yeah, so if this is clear, it'll be a, a trim trim break. So if I... I don't know how this is going to affect things, but I don't care. <laughs> Build it! Okay, so that one's just a block break. That one is a trim break. Good. Can I get multiple trains? Now. It's not working! See, that's what I don't get. Um, if there's just one car, this is definitely long enough. So I don't understand why it no work. Because this is definitely long enough for one car, as you can tell by that one car. That is a bummer. And abs, what if I turn that off? Yeah. Nope, it's not working. Damn it, I thought we were onto something. Unless this just isn't long enough, but um, it's the exact, it's four. That's four. It's the exact length of the station. That should be long enough. What if I delete this? I should have saved before doing this. I personally do the block break, but always stops the train for a certain amount of time. Yeah, I don't care about that. Uh, we need this to be not a hill. Okay. Um, stop. <laughs> Please. Let us delete this. This is going to screw me up because I'm changing things and I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, so those are all block breaks and still just one train. Um, if I bring this back to the station, just to make sure, I bet you it's still not going to work. Yeah, still not working. So no matter how many, it's just, I just, it won't work. And I'm not sure why. Boy, I really wish there was an undo button right about now. Because now I need to fix this myself. Unless the station's not long enough? No, that doesn't make any sense. Well, since I've already made a mess here, might as well keep making a mess here. I did screw that up. Better yet, hold on, hold on. I've got a plan. It's not a good plan, but it is a plan. Do that. Make that one like, okay. Why you gotta be like that? Like that. Stations. Where's the station button? That is fascinating. That is absolutely fascinating. So with two stations, I can have two trains. Watch this. See the numbers here? Trains 1, cars 12. What? Two trains now. So it needs another station. I don't get that at all. But... Could I get that to work? Could I... I don't think it's worth it. I think I'm messing with things I shouldn't be messing with, and I don't think it's worth it. Yeah. Oh, well. We tried. We failed. It's okay. These things happen. Okay, now I'm just purely confused, because now it says one out of... F I can have four trains at two cars. See, this is... What is happening? It's the block breaks! It's literally the block breaks. Using block breaks is stopping me from getting multiple trains on this ride. That's what it was. Using block breaks stopped me from getting. Mo I am a pile of confusion right now. Because typically putting block brakes on is what allows you to get multiple trains so you don't have to worry about them exploding into each other. So now I have no idea. I am purely a ball of confusion. Alright. 
So, we can get six trains now at two cars. No, I'd rather, like, yeah, two trains of seven. Let's test that and see how that goes. Okay, we did it, everyone. I just don't want the thing to, like, it might explode. It all depends on how quickly... Oh, look, we got 400 guests in the park. It all depends on how quickly that enters the station, which I am unsure of. It's gonna go up. Come on, go up. Go back. Where is it? This is gonna change the... Okay, that's not that fast. So, station brakes... See, if the station brakes fail, I think these brakes might fail too. And in that case, it's gonna explode. We're still at a 90, 89. I'll freaking take it. And now we're gonna get even more people going here. That ends a little weird, but who cares? We did it. Block brakes, they're the worst. There you go, we figured it out, everyone. Anyway, I'm ending this one here. Next episode should be an interesting one. We might beat the scenario then, I don't know. Will we ever get a drink place? Probably not. We'll see. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Leave a like and share the video if you enjoyed the help a lot. Subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you next time.